It's simple to see it's at Magic TV So the world can believe it's at Magic TV It's simple to see it's at Magic TV So the world can believe it's at Magic TV Well, here we are, uh, a wonderful night for people to come together in camaraderie. Most importantly, for our society now to have more compassion and more understanding. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts about that, since we do have a new president and the direction is for society to be more caring towards each other. You know what, I think it's a great message. I think we could all use that in everyday life, whether it's holding a door for somebody behind you, mm -hmm. to supporting one another, to if there's, you know, some kind of natural disaster to come together, I think it's important not only for the children that we're raising, but just for the rest of the world to see that we can do that. So I think with Obama leading the way, I think we're right on the right path. Money can cause a lot of people to change, even when God is in our lives. Uh, how have you been be able to balance your life with God in your life and Jesus Christ as your Savior? You know what, I actually try to live in a godlike way in terms of how I treat people and what's important to me. And I think also um, it has to come from the heart. I think if I carry God with me, I know how to, I will treat you properly. And I think that's really, really important in uh, just in your everyday life. You know, I think um, you got to take care of one another. I mean, we're here for such a short time. Money doesn't, you know, we know a lot of people with a lot of money who are unhappy, so it's not really money will make you happy, or the materialistic things. I think it's the most important things, it's family, friends, and surrounding yourself with really good people. I think at the end of the day, on your deathbed, no one's saying, I wish I worked harder. I think people are saying, I wish I spent more time with my family. Let's talk about your career, and uh, recently talked to Blair Underwood and said, you know, how remarkable that you were nominated by the Golden Globes, and that... Um, you know, times have changed. They still need to keep oh, changing. Absolutely. Your thought? Yes, things have definitely changed, and we have two fantastic actresses that are in the best supporting uh, category tonight, which is amazing. But I think we need a lot more. We could definitely move more forward, more directors, more producers, more things written, and not only written for us, just written in general. If it's a good story, it doesn't matter who's playing the parts. Mm -hmm. So I think if we can open the doors up for more people, then. You know, we're there. Look at Slumdog Millionaire. This is a movie that really it got passed around. People didn't want to do it. It's gonna oh, it's gonna go straight to video. Who's gonna watch it? You know, it's like the little engine that could. So we got to believe that we can. What about your career and what you're doing? And are there parts that you want to, shall we say, take control of, add content to make it more meaningful? And are you allowed to do that with a director uh, and a producer that controls the whole ball of wax and a major? studio production, if you will, for movies. You know what, I think sometimes you can. I'm actually working on a project for a lifetime. It's a mini-series called Maneater. Mm -hmm. And it's a really great project, but yes, we definitely have a say-so in how you portray the character and how you see it. And we have Timothy Busfield, who's our director, and he's fantastic. And I think one is because he was an actor himself, but also, you know, he takes input and sees what your creative um, outlet is and, and helps you make it better. So I think it's important that we have a say, you know, it's not just show up and do your lines and stand on your mark. And your character? Um, I play evil Susie, believe it or not, as nice as I am. Yes, you, I can't <laughs> imagine you being evil now. Thank you very much, but I do. <laughs> I, have, I have a little bit of that in me, I guess. We all do, you know, but I'm an actor and that's what I do. And so when will that be airing? Uh, Memorial Day on Lifetime. Are there any other projects that people can pick up at Blockbuster that you want to promote? You know what, I just started going back to work since I had my twin boys who are 16 months, so I really wanted to take my time and pick the right thing. It's got to be something where I can still be at home and be a mom, so this was my first thing out. I think that's excellent. Uh, as we leave on the broadcast, can help but think about the word hope and what hope can do for, if you have no hope, then uh, life Call can certainly... Call it a day if you have no hope. <laughs> Because sometimes you only have hope one day. You know, you only have that to hold on to, depending on what's happening in your life. So I think if you don't have hope, pull the covers over and uh, say goodnight. There you have it. Remember to have hope. And with hope, we can progress and make society a little better. I'm Pete Allman and... Garcelle Beauvais Nylon.